Hello everyone, welcome back to my math channel MathLab. Let us start question number 4 from Pearson and Excel A level exam for pure math 2. This exam was taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA 12 slash 01. F of x equals x minus 2 into 2x square plus 5x plus k plus 21. Where k is a constant, state the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 2. When you plug in the value of x from here, because you are dividing by x minus 2, you can write as x equals to 2, x minus 2 equals to 0 and you can get the value of x as x equals to 2. Well, plug in this value over there, you get the remainder by remainder theorem. f of 2 and when, once you plug in over here, x minus 2 will be 0 because x is 2 is 0, so everything will be 0 plus 21. Therefore, remainder will be equals to 21. This is the remainder. Remainder is 21. First part is done. Given that 2x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, show that k equals to 11. When it is a factor, you know that uh, I am saying 2 is factor of 8. Why it is factor of 8? Because if you divide by 2, you are getting the remainder as 0. Whenever the, something is factor of any number, remainder is always 0. You plug in this value from here, 2x minus 1 is a factor, so you can get the value of x from here and plug in, in this equation, that becomes a remainder. Uh, remainder will be 0 in that case, okay. Let us solve this over here in the given space for the second part. First of all, let me write the equation f of x equals to x minus 2 into 2x squared plus 5x plus k in plus 21. 2x minus 1 is a factor, so you can get the value of x from here. Easiest way, just put as equals to 0, you get the value of x as 1 over 2. 1 goes to the right side and divide by 2, you will get x as 1 over 2. Plug in over there, so it will be f of 1 over f of uh, 1 over 2 is equals to 1 over 2 minus 2 replace values of x with 1 by 2. 2 into 1 over 2 whole square plus 5 into 1 over 2 plus k plus 21. Since 2x minus 1 is factor of f of x Therefore, remainder is equals to 0. Actually, this one is remainder. This one. Okay. So, you replace uh, remainder by 0. And uh, simplify the right hand side. 1 over 2 minus 2 will give you minus 3 over 2. By using calculator, solve this one. You will get the answer as 3 plus k plus 21 is equals to 0 because remainder is 0. Now multiply this one inside. So this will be equals to and you can move this 21 to the right side to get the value of k alone. You know this minus 3 over 2 will multiply by both. So this will be equals to minus 9 by 2 minus 3 by 2 k is equals to negative 21. To get rid of uh, this 2, the fraction, multiply by the same number, this is the rule. If you have denominator, so multiply by the same denominator to get rid of the denominator. It is the easiest way to simplify. Minus 9 minus uh, 3k will be equals to minus 42. Then 3k moves to the right side and you bring this one to the left side. So it will be minus 9 minus, uh, this minus becomes positive, so it will be positive 42 is equals to 3k and uh, 3k will be equals to 33 and k is equals to 11. So this is as required. Second part is done. We already proved this one. For C part, hence fully factorize f of x. Number one, fully factorize f of x. Find the remainder of real solutions of the equation. Giving a reason for your answer, f of x equals to 0, you need to find all the solutions. 
first of all in the first part you need to factorize f of x for c let me write the write the polynomial here x minus 2 and uh, this one is 2x square plus 5x plus k k is 11 we already got the value of k so replace by that so plus 21 this x will multiply all of these numbers x multiply 2x square gives you 2x cube and plus 5x square and 11x same way this negative 2 will multiply all of these two uh, these num values here inside negative 2 multiply 2 will give you minus 4x square and minus 10x and minus 22 plus 21 simplify 2x cube plus 5x square and minus 4x square gives you x square only 11x minus 10x is x only plus x and minus 1 f of x it is given in the question that 2x minus 1 is factored so we can divide 2x minus 1 uh, to this value okay to get the other factor there are different ways of getting the other factors but long vn is the easiest method so we will divide this polynomial by 2x minus 1 plus x square plus x minus 1 2x minus 1 take this value multiply such a number you should get the first value that will be x square x square multiplied 2x will give you the first value it is the rule of dividing so it will be 2x cube and now this x square will multiply by minus 1 you get minus x square for solving we need to change signs this will cancel out x square plus x square is 2x square and then you bring these two values down now you will multiply 2x by such a number that you, you get the answer to x square that will be x x only because x multiplied 2x will give you 2x square and x multiplied minus 1 is minus x now you need to change the signs this will cancel out x plus x is 2x minus 1 now for sure you will multiply by 1 1 multiply 2x and minus 1 you will get the same answer plus minus so it will cancel out you get the result 0 so we got the other factor as 2x and uh, one factor is 2x minus 1 so other factor is x squared plus x plus 1 therefore we can replace this one as f of x equals 2x minus 1 into x squared plus x plus 1 further you cannot factorize this one so this is the answer for the first part of there are two parts for c first part is done we fully factorize now you need to find the number of real solutions for that f of x equals to 0 you replace this answer by f of x by 0 here this is 0 in the next part therefore we can write as 2x minus 1 and x square plus x plus 1 is equals to 0 here you will get the answer as 2x minus 1 equals to 0 and other factor is here x square plus x plus 1 is equals to 0 x equals to 1 over 2 this is the one answer we will get this answer because it is a quadratic so we cannot factorize we can use the quadratic formula by quadratic formula x will be equals to minus b b is 1 here so it will be minus 1 plus minus b square b square will be 1 minus 4 into a is 1 and c is 1 this is a this is c divide by 2 into 1 here x equals to minus 1 plus minus here you are getting a negative answer under the square root such kind of the values are not in uh, lie in the real uh, real solutions okay which is not real this is not real therefore you reject it there, hence there is only one solution that is equals to x equals to 1 1 over 2 hence there is only one solution one real solution that is x equals to 1 over 2 so this is answer for question number 4 question number 4 is done if you have any question any doubt 
Right and left, my course. Thank you so much.